coach. Three games left, all of them on the road, and pretty tough road, tough road ahead. But team in a pretty good position to, uh, you know, shore up some seating these last couple of weeks. Yeah, we've done well up until this point. Uh, you know, every the goal every year is to finish strong, uh, and uh, I think we're certainly in a pretty good position right now. Uh, you know, uh, yesterday's result was disappointing, but. Uh, the wonderful thing about this league is just when you think you've played yourself out of it, everybody else plays you into it. <laughs> you know, they brought us right back into it. So I feel like we're in a pretty good position right now. I feel like we're playing very well. We've got some good and positive momentum going and looking forward to finishing out the year on a on a positive note. Team usually up for a lot of these games and no reason not to be with uh, two of the top three uh, teams in the league on your schedule with uh, another rivalry game mixed in you start off with Kent with a short turnaround on on Thursday they haven't lost a Mac match yet and you played two spirited games against them last year I guess what's uh kind of the game plan for attacking them well you know we've <clears throat> again you you pointed it out you know uh these next three games uh two of them are six point swing games for us so uh everything's still left to play for and certainly uh, a clear path forward to a Mac championship uh, as far as Kent goes, you know, we I haven't really looked at him yet. Uh, certainly Jenna Hellstrom is uh, as fine a player as this league has seen in a long, long time. Donovan Capehart, same thing. Uh, good team defensively. I mean, I think Kent's just a good team. There's a reason why they're, uh, you know, near the top of the, the league standings, and uh, we're expecting it to be a very difficult game. And, uh, you know, the last couple of years it's just been a just a whopper of a game. I don't see why this would be any different. Yeah, so in-state rivalry game, one of those uh, throughout the record records, so to speak, against uh, Ohio coming up as well. I mean, it's, you mentioned there's two, those two six-point swing games, but also a pretty important one coming up on Sunday too. You know, whether you're playing the number one team in the league or the number 12 team in the league, each game is worth 12 points. So we try not to draw too many distinctions, uh, you know, with regard to who we're playing and where they're standing in the table. Um, that said, OU games are always special, uh, battle for the brick, rivalry game, that kind of deal. Uh, you know, so it's, it's just, it's every other Mac game, you know, it's going to be a dog fight. We know we're going to have to show up. We know we're going to have to work hard and we know we're going to have to play well. You had one of these Thursday games, uh, two weeks ago against Northern Illinois. I guess what kind of changes with a kind of shorter schedule to get ready for this Thursday? Well, you know, it, it's, it's, it's one less training day really is, is what it is uh, when it comes to the Thursday game. Uh, the upside to it is you've got a little bit more time to prepare for the Sunday game. Um, but, you know, at this particular point in time in the season, I don't know that too many people are going to be changing a lot of things that they're doing. Uh, certainly I don't expect us to, and so it's just about staying sharp, staying fit, staying focused, and uh, being ready to go when uh, when the whistle blows. All right, Steph, uh, team heading out on the road, starting things off with a pretty crucial stretch that closes the regular season at uh, Kent State. Yes, uh, what's this team's you know mindset going into this uh, long road trip, starting with a, a short week to prepare for the division leader? I mean, first things first is just kind of um, getting back on track. You know, we just had two hard games this past weekend, so first thing is just kind of um, getting our bodies ready for the game. Um, you know, good rest, um, fluids, um, good rehab on our um, bodies. So that's kind of first things first, and then secondly, um, you know. Kent is in our division, so we want to make sure that we're competing um, and, um, you know, sticking with them. Played Kent State twice last year. Both games go to double overtime. You went there for the, the tournament to start things off, uh, run to the tournament finals with uh, PKs. As what is it about Kent uh, over the last few years that seems to be just a really competitive game? Yeah, you know, I don't know if it's just Kent per se, but just a MAC game, you know, it's tough. There's a lot of things on the line. Last year, you know, we went into PKs. It was for the quarterfinal. Um, you know, I think just having a lot on the line, you know, both both of us are very competitive teams. Um, you know, we both want that win. So just having, um, you know, a competitive team to play against. Other than, you know, the Bowling Green game, which there were plenty of offensive opportunities. It seems the offense has been able to put in a couple of goals a game over the last couple of weeks. Uh, you now that was something that the team was 
trying to improve on going into this year. How has that kind of been been progressing? You yourself getting your first of the year on Friday against Toledo. You know, I think that we've just been getting more confidence in ourselves. I mean, f speaking for me personally, um, I think I've just been getting more comfortable around the net. Um, I think I can speak for everyone saying they're getting more comfortable. Um, you know, we're taking more chances in the box. So obviously Sunday was frustrating not being able to solidify any of those opportunities. Um, but definitely having all those chances, it just shows us that, you know, we're able to get in the box. And once we're able to capitalize, that's when we're you know going to be very dangerous. To that end, how confident is this team going into this stretch where you know every game has something on the line of one just trying to shore up home field to start the tournament, but you've got a chance at a, a MAC title here, which would be your first as a senior? Yeah, I mean, I think we're very confident. Um, one thing that this team has is a lot of passion, and I think the passion that we have for you know our teammates, you know each other, the game, um, you know just getting that Mac ring, it kind of pushes us to be more confident in each other and ourselves, um, and will ultimately you know is going to be the the deciding factor on um, you know who's going to win that Mac title.